Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. This video is going to be about the variable outline tool. I made plenty of videos, and you can also just hit V on your keyboard. But I've never really played around with it too much, and you know, there's not there's a lot of stuff up here. But if you will go to Windows Docker's properties, there's a Seems like there's a lot more and there's a variable outline slide. So right now we're gonna double click on that and make one. And you can see it's right here at the zero position. So it's telling you that it's a hundred all the way around. So if we put it here, if we take the slide bar and put it to a hundred or type a hundred, it's gonna put it right back as it was because that's the hundred percent. So if I want one down here, one I could take it and go to the 50 or type in 50 or anywhere in between, like I want to go to the, you know, this mark of it. Then, you know, I've always just played around with this and you get, basically you can get some really weird shapes, um, but you could also, I can't really remember how you do it if you hold down the ship and you only pull down one at a time, yeah. But what you can also do with this Docker, let me back up to where we were, you can change it right here. So it's a half an inch on either side of that line, a total of one. So if we go two inches and hit enter, look what it did. It put a two inch gap right there. And now our total is 1.5. So that's a kind of a weird shape now to do anything with this, one that would probably print, but this is an outline. So if you smart filled it with something, it's actually gonna go to those nodes because that's where the line is. And you see how that's basically it's a hairline because if we look at it under view and wireframe, that's what the box still looks like. We've changed the box. Let's go back to enhance. And what you can't do with this is take it and grab it and go to object and convert the outline to an object. And then when you smart fill it, you'll get right in that object and look quite a bit different in the size. It's because it's an object now and you can you can left click and right click and, and make that a weird looking picture frame or something. So play around with, if you've had, if you have Corel 2023, play around with this, there's a lot I mean, it's probably, I've never particularly played too much with it. Uh, I like it. You know, if we make this thing a half inch and then you don't have to convert it to a curve, but if you hit down right here to variable, a lot of stuff does pop up, but I don't know. I don't see the slide. Well, there's the, the side is a quarter. So you could do the same thing with like two inches. Boy, there's a weird, that's because I didn't, I had it in a, in the edge. If we hit it here, I'm gonna take away that one. Put it here. You wanna you wanna click on it till you get those handles. And now let's put it to so you're getting the same. Wow, well, that's pretty neat. Pretty neat curve, but I don't know how you could change this. Let's change it to 1.5. Yeah. And it's cutting that in half. Anyway, so play around with the properties docker with it and see what you can come up with. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.